Lucky Lindy coming at you from my keeping room. There's two reasons that I'm coming at you today from my keeping room. The first is that my husband is making a bouche de Noël and the aroma is fantastic. So I didn't want to get too far from the kitchen. And the other reason is that the garland that I have hung, I am, I keep looking at it and I keep thinking it needs something. So next week I am going to do a little tutorial on how to zhuzh up a garland that you're not happy with for free. We're going to just use things from the yard and ribbon and we're going to zhuzh it up a little bit. So that'll be our tutorial next week. I just wanted to give you a little uh, sneak peek into what we're going to be doing. The next thing I wanted to tell you about, I have a lot of updates from here in Metal Tennessee. Um, we did have weather last night. Thankfully, Art and I are perfectly fine. Nothing happened here. Um, I am in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. It is Middle Tennessee. There were storms in Middle Tennessee, and we do have a state of emergency for several counties, but mainly where those were were Hendersonville, the Madison area, which is part of Nashville, and then also up in Clarksville. So there are people that have lost their lives in these storms. They were hard, terrible storms. Um, and our hearts, our minds, our prayers go out to them. It, how horrible right before Christmas. Of course, anybody who lost anything in that in those storms too, I mean, we just are gonna, our, our prayers and our thoughts are gonna be with you and if there's, Anything that we can do, we are going to do it. We will, um, we, Art and I will be checking into charities to see if there's anything that we can do, any little children that we can help. Because, you know, we've got to be here this time of year is for the children. And if we can make it magical just for one, that's going to be great. Okay, now there is more news coming out of Middle Tennessee. We did go to the Candlelight Tour last night. Unfortunately, it was only Oakland's mansion. I mean, we did get some magical footage and we will be putting it on here. I got to speak with Santa. He said I was nice, which made me so happy. He gave me the thumbs up. Cause you know, sometimes I wonder if I'm on the naughty or the nice list, but he said I was doing good. So I'm glad about that. The other thing that I wanted to tell you about that home tour is that it was supposed to be Throughout Murfreesboro, we were gonna to get to see some beautiful homes that are historic homes. We did not get to see them. Some owners pulled out. It is a couple thousand people going through your house, so I don't blame them. I think there was some trepidation about letting so many people in. It is a very strange time in our world. On to the rest of what I was doing last week. I was in Seattle, Washington, and I did get some really good footage. I did get some Christmas footage of a town called Edmonds there also. So we will be we'll be sharing that with you. We were able to go to the very first Starbucks, their roastery, and it is beautiful. And I did not do a very good job, y'all. I did not take good footage, um, but I can tell you about it. It is a beautiful building. It is right on Pike's Place. If you get a chance to get out there, do it. Uh, we went to a lot of Starbucks, to be honest with you. There was a lot of coffee that we drank and I did have a hot cocoa also. I am watching my weight still, don't get me wrong. I am still working on that. I did sneak that in there though, that hot cocoa. Now I do wanna let you know, there are two things this season that I just, I love. I love peppermint bark and I love hot cocoa. I have really cut way, way down. I don't, I only have bought a few little pieces of peppermint bark and I had two hot cocos this whole season. I have been replacing it with peppermint tea and I hope that you all maybe find that as a good tip and it is still warm, it's still peppermint, it still feels good, like we're having a treat, but we're not, we're not hurting ourselves in any way. I will be heading down to Alabama this week, I'm hoping to get some good footage down there and just keep you updated on our journeys. Hope that this season finds you at peace with joy and love and 
may you feel the way I do very blessed and hopefully this will be it for the storms and we'll just have some smooth sailing for the rest of the year. Thank you. Bye-bye.